Good morning, video games. Welcome to Filthy Casuals, a podcast about video games hosted by three very kind and extremely knowledgeable boys. Thank you very much for joining us. My name is Tommy Daslo, and with me, as always, Ben Vanell here. We just took a little uh, a little trip across town. Yeah, uh, because I forgot the microphones. Mm-hmm. Some would say. A key part of podcasting. Yeah, uh, it depends. You could, we, if we shout loud enough, some mm. people might be able to hear us. If we shout loud enough, the whole world will hear. Yeah, we yeah, actually uh, <laughs> we recorded for about forty five minutes, just talking into the end of the lead. Yeah. Uh, before we reali- before I realized. Hang on, this headphone that's in my ear, mm. I can't hear a damn thing. This microphone feels lighter and more wiggly than normal, <laughs> but I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to cause a ruckus. My name's Adam Knox, by yeah. the way. Welcome hey. to the show, Adam. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to have you. Exciting to talk about my new book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's okay, I'm doing yeah, my press yeah. tour. What's, yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's that called again? Called, uh, well, it's called House of Leaves. <laughs> And okay. I've been contacted Leaves. by a few lawyers recently. Right, okay. right, right. You, but you're like, it's about le- leaving the house. It's yeah. right. not like, there's not a picture of an There's a character name. named House of right. who, who, who leaves. Oh, so my one's completely sure. different. Yeah. I yeah. know someone who'd love this book. Mm-hmm. The Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> okay, good. Well, that's one copy sold. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the other Big Bad Wolf. Uh, let me be frank. Oh, yeah. The other House of. <laughs> yeah. Hey, quick pivot. May I quickly Thank plug you. some tour <laughs> dates that I have coming up? Uh, Rest in Hobart. peace, Matthew Perry. Hobart this Thursday, uh, mm. November the 16th at the Hobart Brewing Company, 7.30pm. Tonight. Come check that out. Tonight? Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> it's that, too late. Wait, Thursday or Friday night? Thursday. Yeah, that's oh, happening. Oh, well, you've missed yeah. it. But, hey, you what could you be can there, do... Right? You, yeah, you might have just seen the show and I, yeah. I pray that you did. Yes. Well, hey, but if you're in Hobart and you did miss it, what you can do is you can travel up to the mainland mm. to see me in Sydney, November the 23rd at the Lord Gladstone or Melbourne, November the 30th at Stupid Old Studios right. taping my special. I, a bit uh, closer to Tasmania, that one. A little bit closer. Yeah. And I tell you what, if, uh, if this show that I was working on was a video game and I was a video game developer, mm-hmm. in about four months' time, I would be blowing the whistle on myself because, brother, I'm crunching. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Can okay. you release a patch to a live show <laughs> yeah, after yeah. the fact? A lot, of, uh, a lot of late nights in it. Tony Studios right now, <laughs> just burning the midnight oil on that, on that iPad. Well, while we're doing promo, um, I've got a book coming out. It's okay. called House of Leaves. I think oh, if we sick. have a second crack at this, we'll be able to come up yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, quick pivot. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Filthy Casuals pod. That's my plug for the day. It's yeah. where uh, you can support us uh, to help us continue doing this show. We obviously, we have costs. We have microphones to leave uh, at home. We have petrol to yes. use driving back to my house to get uh, some mics. A hot Fitzroy minute. <laughs> <laughs> Which was, what would it have been, Knox? About seven minutes? Ten? 15? In dog minutes, yeah. yeah. Um, the the uh, Quick pivot. Um, mm-hmm. Speaking of crunch, yeah. yeah, it's a pivot and a segue. Whoa! That's when, you, when you see people spinning around <laughs> yeah, on the yeah. boards. That's what I've done. <laughs> yeah. Knox is going to tell us what cereal he had this morning. <laughs> I speaking didn't of crunch. have any. I, had a, uh, 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 I didn't have breakfast. But I did have a look at the news uh, from uh-huh. last week. Okay. Speaking Flip of open the newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> what? Empty. <laughs> What's Not going sitting on? there at the kitchen table. Empty bowl. <laughs> yeah. Still likes the routine of like, you know, moving the spoon towards his yeah, mouth, but there's just yeah. nothing in there. I, yeah. I just, I, I get milk out of there. I have a cat's breakfast. Oh, I, yeah, um, sure. Oh. Uh, 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 speaking of crunch, Grand Theft Auto 6. Yes. Got right. pre-announced, mm. sort of. They're going to release a trailer in early December, they said. It's their yeah. 20 fifth anniversary must be longer than that of, of gta of 5 coming out <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah it was it december 8th or something i feel like was the float they say 30th the anniversary i don't think they said the date of the trailer i, think I don't they think said they early did, december but, uh, yeah i think maybe you'd have to assume maybe game awards right people were speculating that oh, but also right. rockstar are big enough that they probably would be done a disservice by being attached to something That's smaller than themselves yeah. they can just drop it on twitter whenever they want exactly. right red yeah. dead 2 style yeah yeah uh, but that's exciting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's been an awfully long time coming. I mean, not if you include Red Dead 2 in the middle, but even mm. so, um, it's five years apiece or whatever. Mm-hmm. Maybe next year sort of uh, likely because of the earnings call stuff that I think we talked about at some point already. Right. Yeah. What was the lead time uh, between them announcing Red Dead 2 and it coming out? I think it was quite a bit more. It was a it couple was a years because right. they had that like just photo that went up on Twitter or whatever. That's right. Yeah, yeah the um, silhouettes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. I'd love to see more of just like, here's confirmation, it's out in four months. 
would love to see more yes. of that become the norm. Not these like, yeah, five year lead times of like a logo and then sitting around waiting. And obviously yeah. GTA six is a weird one because people have known and expected uh, it was obviously gonna happen eventually, so like no need to even you announce do, it. Yeah, you don't but. need to give people time to get their heads around it and get ready and yeah. get the and also, in. people are ready. There were those leaks. Yep. Yeah. Uh which show which contained an enormous amount of the game, mm. and that was about a year ago now. Here's what I think. I reckon in the game there's going to be at least a couple of wry gags about the leaks. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they can resist. Yeah. Those, oh, dude, they'll tear anyone apart. Yeah, I think yeah. those ribald yeah. jesters in there at Rockstar. Yeah, they'll take down those big targets like that dude in his bedroom hacking the. Yeah. Like, uh, they should. They should have a go at him. Fuck him. I mean, they've taken him down uh, to the prison <laughs> the, the nearby. Good. I believe that no, it's, guy. It's so something you can imagine just like on the radio station, you know, hearing a yeah. news update yeah. about like, you know, oh, someone. Someone leaked uh, the new life hacker or whatever yeah. bullshit. Yeah. That's a real website, life hacker. Life Invader. Life Invader, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Projected. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get sued. <laughs> there will be, because, so it's like the two characters that you're playing as, yes. one of whom is a woman for the first time as a protagonist in a GTA game, I think. Mm -hmm. And she apparently will have a child in cutscenes oh. and stuff. Okay. Probably not in gameplay, I would mm -hmm. imagine. <gasps> But uh, that's, I reckon there's going to be a lot of like millennial jokes, as in yeah. jokes about millennials. Okay. I reckon she will be a millennial age. I'm ready right. to get skewered. I can handle yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. The first time. It's about time someone had a go at us. <laughs> yeah. You've never gone on TikTok, have you? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they fucking hate us. No, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Do you know why? Oh, they don't start the video immediately. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you. We pioneered the yeah. idea of We're video. We're not fucking like boomers who own seven houses. We... We're with you, Zoomers. We, we have nothing. no money and no prospects. And guess what? You can order us around and we'll do anything. Yeah. And We're hey, the key members of your army. That's right. You can tell us to go wherever. And hey, <laughs> working on this special, I'm moving stuff around in the show to be able to start the thing when it's recorded immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is annoying to do. <laughs> it, and it, But it's almost like, is that worse? Like, is that more pathetic to be like to an older guy who's <laughs> yeah. like, you know, do they, are they going to see through that immediately? Yeah. And yeah. be like, this is pathetic. You should have just held your nerve. Guess yeah. what? There's nothing you can do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, be well. like Marty. Do a fucking three and a half hour movie. Slow build up. Yeah, he's not. He's not pandering. I'm. Not, I'm not willing to see the millennial jokes anymore. Millennials are ruining the millennial joke industry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So that 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 they'll. I'm. I'm excited to see what that looks yeah. like. All the stuff yeah. about the, the technical bits and pieces that we've gotten recently. Yeah. I cool. gotta say though, you know, it, again, it does. It does bleed into all this stuff that I was saying about you know Mario Wonder getting announced and then just coming out like you know three or four months later. The announcement of the date of the trade. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. bit like we don't need to put. It's like music festivals now love being like, hey, uh, these are the big announcement. These are the dates that the festival is on. Right. And then the lineup is coming in two months. It's like, I, I don't care what dates it is if I'm not interested in the lineup. Just yeah, give me the lineup. Yeah, yeah. Don't give me the date that the lineup is dropping. Yeah. Just drop the lineup. Yeah. yeah. Just put the trailer out. Uh, the. I, I reckon it won't be as long okay, of, a, Dad. Of, a, <laughs> of a stretch this time. Surely not, right? Yeah, I don't like, think so. Yeah. I, people, are, people are desperate for it to come out. And it feels like a, a year. A year is probably enough. And then With how rapidly things change. A four to five month delay on yeah. that, I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever they announce probably won't be when it shows up for real. But I the like yeah. hopes are that the online stuff is maybe more appealing to me because the people mm. who play GTA online really fucking play it. Yeah. So I, I would like to get that this time, but also the single player thing to be completely separate. And uh, I would like a better story than five because Red Dead Two had a great story. Yeah, yeah and I, I can't yeah. really recall enjoying the one from five. Yeah, I don't really care about the online so much, but yeah, I do yeah. hope that the success of that ha hasn't, you know, made them. They, I mean, they seem like they get it. They seem like they yeah. are still well, they very focused on expansive single player stuff and not sort of cannibalizing that. And it does well for to, them still. Yeah. Like Red Dead Two, they had an online mode in that, but you know, didn't stretch it out in the way that they did with 
the five ones. Didn't seem yeah. like people really took to it. No, in I the think same they way. kind of flubbed it a bit. Uh, is the reason why they didn't? It's easy it to. Well, it's also right. just easier to add stuff to a modern setting where you can go. This new car's in it. Yeah. There's not a right. ton that you can really do. This horse has dead. paint on it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, horse armor. But and, and Lego like, horse. Like you say, like the single player of it was uh, one of the best games ever made. So clearly they. That's still a focus because mm. GTA Online was already a, like a cash cow before Red Dead Two. So and but it uh, the GTA Online thing was weird as well because GTA Four had multiplayer as mm-hmm. well and like Five's online taking off in the way it did mm. seemed to also surprise them to some extent, which right. is why so much of what I don't find appealing about it in that like a bunch of stuff seemed shoehorned in and when I have played it, it kind of only half works. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's got these long, and I haven't played it in fucking ages, but like long uh, loading times between things. It just does, never felt great to me. It, it so has then, a very long introductory, like tutorial scripted thing as well, which I've found odd for something that is like a, you know, like widely uh, expansive free roaming online multiplayer thing. It was like, you do yeah. like four single player missions. You, yeah. The whole thing always felt a bit weird. So I, it would, it would be cool for them to obviously be coming into this. You would assume with an idea of how to make that a cleaner, more forward uh, looking. You want to carry product. people over, but yeah. you also do want to sort of well, yeah, yeah, we'll blank let, slate it for new people. What will happen with it? Cause it's like, it's a part of the GTA 5 installation. Will the new game be a new GTA Online or will it just will they just keep the old one? I could imagine it being like a war zone or whatever with Call of Duty where it com- like GTA Online is free but you have to pay for things and it comes mm. in with 6. And your GTA Online like current GTA Online account transfers? I suppose it so has they, to, right? they have like Rockstar accounts the yeah, rockstar social yeah. club and, th- and they've got like rockstar plus and whatever which lets wow. you right. also have a subscription and you get like some of the old gta games and stuff i'm not quite oh, sure okay. how that works and you get a certain number of points every month but like, when was like that? um what's the ubisoft one like you play plus or whatever yeah but just with even fewer games than that to yeah access, right. i guess but uh so that obviously they would be looking at this of like well how can we make the most money possible from well, that's how every business looks at everything, but then also not like, this one specifically the online. <laughs> We're creative <laughs> yeah. first. Uh, how long can we get away with not having microphones? Can we cut that cost? <laughs> Would that work? Yeah. Well, well that last if one it aids the artistic presentation. <laughs> <laughs> that last one seemed like it carried on for. Much longer than they would have been expecting. So, 100%, going yeah. into this, going like, if we play our cards right here, this is potentially a ten-year thing that we only need to, you know, do. A skeleton team can just carry on with the support of it while we do something else in the background. Mm. If we if we don't botch the, you know, I, the rollout well, of it, and I think it would be almost the opposite of that, where they're like, we're going to have a team really focused on this for the next. 10 we know years. that it's worth right. it. If yeah, yeah, yeah. which yeah. would be. Cooler because I think that yeah, all the updates and everything that you see again or have seen for the last ten years for GTA Five online have never been that appealing to me because they're like attaching it to this thing that wasn't meant to go for that long. Well, mm. and yeah, and probably developing it in a way where they're thinking about well, you know, the we're what halfway, just over halfway through the life cycle of this current gen of console, so there'll be a PlayStation Six, etc., being started to talk being started to be talk about Mm. in you know a couple of years so we'll just kind of have this ready to be upgraded for the next generation of you know like really thinking about it as like the last game they made the last gta they made spanned what three generations yeah (laughs) so like just having the infrastructure there to be like yeah yeah. this can grow as it needs to i would definitely not be surprised to see it basically be treated as two separate things that yeah. are coming yeah. out at the same time of like, here's GTA 6, that's the single player thing, it's got a story, it's got a blah, 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 and then we use that world for online, which I, again, would not be surprised if that is a free-to-play model that, mm-hmm. like Warzone or whatever, that comes with it. Yeah. But also people buy GTA 5, it's still always in the top 10 of yeah, them, so yeah. maybe it is attached to that still, but either way... Uh, yeah, it would probably be a big when, game. When was that leak? <laughs> it was uh, 2022, like, yeah, okay, year and a bit ago. I, I feel like August or something of last right. year, or maybe September, yeah. And bits of it looked, you know, pretty far ish along. And you right. know, it was a little while ago now, and they'd have a big team working on it, so yeah, it could be, it could be an announcement where it's out before too long, but yeah, yeah. 
Surely, like, they've been working on it for years and years and years. And years I wonder, because I feel like, did did Five come out, like, summer in America? Like, it feels like they almost treat it like a movie where, like, the big films right. come out in summer. It was October, I think, Was it really? Okay. Yeah. So, okay. completely not what I said at all. That's, yeah. good. That's cool. That's good to know. <laughs> Autumn or fall, as they say. <laughs> it might have been September for Five and then the online wasn't ready till October. Or oh, yeah. Like sure, that. yeah. Right. That rings a bell. Uh, I saw a thing on Twitter of, like, those, you know, the marketing for it was so huge and you had those, like, high-rises in LA that had the ads for it, like the three big towers that are all next to each other yeah. that had all the three characters on them. And it was someone being like, God, I can't wait to see this same building with the art for GTA C. I love that it's just yeah. the, the idea that that building is just GTA building. <laughs> that it's just they've got it bookmarked, they've got it ready to go. It's not ever allowed to have any other ads on it. <laughs> I'm but excited. For you to buy GTA 6 in particular, Tommy, because I know that about a month after you buy GTA 6, GTA 7 will come out. Oh, here we go. Because (laughs) here he is. You recently (laughs) bought a Steam Deck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which triggered the announcement of the Steam Deck OLED. Mm. Yep, bought a uh, – what's my track record? Bought a – like went and bought a Game Boy Micro and a flash cart because I was <laughs> yep. like, they're never putting these damn Game Boy Advance games up on the Switch Online and then like a week later they came out. Tommy bought a Game Boy Micro. I actually have a Game Boy 8.5-inch. <laughs> Get okay. it? Yeah. It's a, it's a penis yeah. joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a cool penis joke. Tommy doesn't get it because he has such a large penis. He's never even come across the concept of a micro. Yeah. (laughs) And he refuses to acknowledge it. Thanks, man. (laughs) I'm sorry because I started thinking about penises after you said my what you bought a Game Boy Micro and then what came out all the all GBA the, uh, games oh, on the, on the right. online yeah. part yeah. of why I did that was I was like they just had taken so long with it and I just yeah. thought this is never going to happen and I want to play some of these old games so I'll yeah. just get a thing and now they're all up there I guess I should just like Start buying like a Switch every week. To yeah. Just try and <laughs> to try and get this Switch Two announcement. Oh, that'd mm-hmm. be pretty crazy to buy uh, <laughs> like six percent more Switches than <laughs> yeah. we already do. Uh, but yeah, Steam Deck OLED. Yeah. Um, they've said that they were inspired to do this by the Switch OLED. Okay. Uh, I don't see the connection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a it's it's a it's a tad lighter. The fan is a little softer. It's got a right. bit, bit better battery life. I think they've said like fifty percent better battery because life because the uh, screen is thinner. Yeah, the the they could fit a larger capacity capacity uh, battery in there, right. uh, as well as like the new internal s- stuff means that they don't need as much power draw for the screen. I think and and how are you finding the battery life on the current one? It's pretty bad. Right. It really does turn it into something that, you know, you probably wouldn't. And also just the size of it. You probably wouldn't bother with it on a plane. Well, I personally wouldn't. Right. Because um, it depends pretty heavily on, like, what you're playing, right? Because yes. the power drawer is really dependent on, like... The, the comparisons I've seen for this OLED use, like, Cyberpunk right. as yep. a baseline, which gets about an hour and a half or so on a Steam Deck normal. Right. Yeah. And then the OLED is another hour on top of that. Roughly, okay. Yeah, so it does good. make it a bit more. I mean, if you're someone who is just playing indies on it because you don't have access to them mm-hmm. somewhere else, I'm sure mm-hmm. you get better life out of it. But sure. your humble I'm, bundle games and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm going somewhere and there's an indie out, then I'm probably going to end up playing it on the Switch because I'll get the better battery life and you know, right? It's all, all that same stuff is on there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. something like a you know, yeah, a AAA release that will run well on the Steam Deck. That's probably more what you're wanting to use it for mm-hmm. if you've got both. is something that you can't get on the Switch. And, yeah, even just, like, sitting and playing something in bed. Right. <laughs> I'll be, like, pretty quickly, like, oh, God damn it, it needs to be charged already. You know, I'm just right. getting going. Yeah. You know, in the case of a game we'll talk about in a bit, like a dragon, Gaiden, the man who erased his name. Mm-hmm. It's like... I'm sorry, you've mentioned five games there, surely? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's half a cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> this damn thing's out of battery. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, hearing that... And also, too, like, you own a, a Switch OLED, Adam. Oh, like, they that, look fucking they look awesome. They look so good. So, right. anytime I see anything OLED now, I'm like... I'm so I'm so tempted. I'm so in because it really does just make everything pop a bit more. It just makes everything look so much better. Yeah. Even if you have to scale the performance down a little bit on the deck to get it running, like the then the boost of having that the nice vibrancy, screen. I, yeah, I do yeah. think like yeah, if you're if you're yet to go in and they have said that there will be a deck two at some point, but mm-hmm. they're not gonna do it until they've until the technology is like 
really ready to make a significant leap. They're not right. going to do something that's just like mildly iterative. They are going to hold out until they can really just hmm. have a bit of a powerhouse. Well, and it seems like this because I've seen people talk about something to do with like the variable refresh rate stuff on there and like it doesn't have that even though it's upgraded to 90 hertz now on this screen. Mm -hmm. But because the type of signal... That the screen uses. I'm going to guess at words here. Mm -hmm. I think signal is one. Okay. Um, it's the same manufacturer, most likely, as who made the Switch OLED screens. Right. And that uses a, a type of connector or whatever that doesn't allow for that. But they can make this because of the cost now works because so many were manufactured for smaller things like right. phones are now OLED. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The Switch has an OLED thing. So this might even be the same or extremely similar screen as the Switch OLED. Mm. Even just that thing of – it's such a small thing with the Switch OLED, but the fact that the screen itself – uses up a bit more of the real estate. It's got like less of that black border right, around it. Bezel. It just goes right up to mm. the edge. Just even that makes it look so much more like high tech and yeah, yeah really makes things pop off the screen. People have that thing. I've never found the bezel thing. I've never noticed it, but people talk about it often going like, fuck, I hate bezels. Yeah. But I don't know. The I screen don't really I notice like it, it when I'm looking at it, but when I'm when you play the when you play something on the equivalent and you see it goes all the way up to the edge and then you go back, sure. do, I notice it then. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's and like, like mounting a, you know, look little mount board on your picture. <laughs> little frame. <laughs> It really... It's uh, classy. <laughs> the difference is really noticeable too where like, you know, not to be a fucking mantis shrimp about it, but I like seeing more colours mm -hmm. and that you, you get crisper, more vibrant, contrasty colours on an OLED screen. The darks especially, the bit where... Right. I mean, that was why Metroid Dread ended up being a good uh, yeah. showcase for the Switch OLED was because a lot of it was very dark and just seeing that like... Not that seeing actual, the muddiness of like a screen. It's like screen, the pixels yeah. actually turn off so you get like right. pure... Pure black. black instead of the screen showing you the color black, mm, which right. is you get to see your fucking reflection oh, yeah. staring down at that Hell screen yeah. with his staring big ass at chin. Wow. Samus's booty. Oh, it's the void's <laughs> looking at me as well. <laughs> it's like it's a black mirror. We're both staring at each other, me and my friend the abyss. <laughs> oh god, I stared into the void and the void's doing crowd work at me. No. <laughs> um, yes, they do come in men's sizes. <laughs> It look yeah, it looks looks like a nice little thing if you don't already have one. If you do, oh, and also it means that there's kind of a price cut across the board in terms of like oh, sure. how much storage space you're getting on the on each model. It's kind of bumped up, right? Yep. Uh, I think the key factor, though, and you mentioned this, Tommy, when I sent you <laughs> the, the news story mockingly. Um, you, well, the timing of this was me messaging you about the new like a dragon, yes. and saying that I got it on the deck, and I'm like, it's kind of the first. Sort of AAA thing that's come out since I got one mm. that ha has run well enough on the deck to be like, okay, I'm going to get this on Steam instead of PlayStation. Yeah. And I was like, man, you know, I'm playing in bed. It's fucking pretty awesome. You know, because you do spend a lot of that game just like watching a cutscene. So it's yes. just like laying down in bed, watching a little movie. Not you too bad. You don't have to sell me on the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'm Once like, again, oh, you're laying in bed. <laughs> oh, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd messaged you at like midnight going, Man, this this rules on the deck. This is so good. And then I woke up the next morning and the OLED had been announced overnight and I had a message from Ben going, I bet it'd look even better on this. <laughs> like, you son of a bitch. But uh, yeah, as you rightly point out, I agree with this take. The red detailing looks shit. Well, that's it's. I thought that was the default model, but it's like a special edition. Of, oh, right. I, I don't know. I thought yeah. it all, yeah. I haven't even seen that one. The normal one I, I think does okay. have... Uh, like slightly blacker features, like the 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 sticks and stuff are a bit grey on the normal Steam Deck, and right. then a slightly darker tone on. Okay, but whatever it is, like it's not something that I think you need to rush out and. I mean, I'm talking to like I fucking during the pandemic Look. was standing in line <laughs> waiting for a fucking switch <laughs> OLED, like I was waiting for bread. Yeah, so like it doesn't. It's. They're all silly. Look, all I will say... <laughs> they're and they're also not being sold in Australia still. Yeah. Oh, yeah, properly, right. So. Look, yeah. if you live in Melbourne and you might be interested in buying a previous gen <laughs> Steam Deck off me... Ring, yep. ring, ring, ring. <laughs> Let me know. Let's Let me know. We can, talk. we can talk. We can talk. Yeah, okay. If I'll I could offload my... <laughs> if I could offload my current one easily enough... Right. And right just now, do the 20 bucks. That sounds easy to me. That's... I mean, you're right. It is easy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, Is it... Is it good, like, a cost-benefit analysis there? All right, I mean, you're twisting my arm. Mm. 30 $30. Nah, I mean, that's, 25 you took too long. <laughs> yeah. That's still a pretty huge leap up, percentage-wise, from 20 35 $35. 40 Fuck. 
We 20, could do this for quite 20. some time. Yeah. <laughs> can we go I back to I think I could. I mean, you guys are just. Give me it or I'll bash you. You How guys are that? just falling over yourselves here. I can see myself getting you up to 800 by the end of the I hour. Gotta go, I got to talk to the bank. I, I don't know if I can approve right. this. Yeah. Uh, ring, ring. Hello, bank here. <laughs> <laughs> You're approved. <laughs> yeah, it, it's um, it's cool though, you know. Yeah, yeah, good on them. No, I can't afford one because I just dropped my phone down some stairs and had to buy one again immediately. Yeah, did you have it in a case? <sighs> Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't just the screen. The whole phone broke basically, and Damn. like it's bent in half. I've never seen that happen to me during neither. The phone fall either. I probably shouldn't have got the. Well, I, I got the next one up. I had a Pixel Six A, and it was great. Apart from its breakability, yeah, I got a Pixel Seven A as a replacement, which is very. It's like seven. But you've bucks. only that this Pixel. You've only just recently got that and left the Apple ecosystem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it really makes you think, doesn't it? <sighs> yeah, but yeah, no, you're right. I've I've also never seen a phone just snap in half. No, yeah. So, <laughs> what's theirs? Uh, a a, a pub. A, oh, a pub I see. Going down uh, out of the bar into the beer garden. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and they were concrete stairs. Fully. Yeah. So yeah. it was. Yeah. Uh, and I was com- I'd come out of the toilet and I was like going a little like what did I miss slip oh, what did I oh. miss <laughs> what what's happened while I <laughs> yeah while I was pissing <laughs> what's happened in Gaza while I was in there better check in yeah. the, uh, well you might have missed this news then that uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has been rated by ratings boards I did miss somewhere this news. <laughs> well you couldn't see it through <laughs> yeah. Final Fantasy VII has been uh, let me just turn my phone 90 <laughs> degrees to read the rest uh, I just thought there was a funny thing in it where it's been rated you know M or whatever and yep. some of it is for sexual references Hell one of yeah. the examples they references. gave mm. is that um, someone in the game refers to their bodacious beach bod mm. Oh, which I thought was just funny phrasing from the ratings board. Yeah, it's yeah. really this has sent people into a frenzy about what this means for the uh, Bazumba content of the game. <laughs> I mean, oh, the the first one of the remake, yep. yeah, pretty heavy on the Bazumbas. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. not, you're not, you're not talking small Bazumbas. No, no. You get Tifa in a room, ain't no one talking about small Bazumbas. No Game Boy micros. Um, I think also the fact that the ratings board classified it a double D. That's. I mean, that's not even. That's not. That's not even on their scale. Yeah, that's yeah. not part of the classification. Isn't it like T yeah. for teen, M for mature? Yeah. Well, it, it, you have to break it down granularly. So then you have to like say how many hubba hubbas are in it. Right. Okay. How yeah. many awoogas yep. out of ten? Because kids can only handle so many awoogas. This gets eight mm, howling wolves. Yeah. <laughs> I My saw d- another like little uh, quote about the game where uh, the open world. Because yeah, we've seen some footage of this this game that we were all a bit like confused how it was going to translate the the world of of final fantasy 7 the original because it's like it's a it's a not a full globe but it's like well it's a big world and there's continents yep and you move about it in a much more rapid way because the scale is off you're you right know. you're going to define small areas mm. in a larger overworld but um yes i i someone uh someone involved in the game described the open world Size and scope as comparable to like uh, Horizon or The Witcher Three. Okay, so that's right. pretty big, and that's just the size of the Bazumbas. Whoa! Yeah. Uh, we got to rate this episode <laughs> <laughs> two out of ten. <laughs> um, th- th- yeah, I ju- I'm excited for that. Get not because of this, but like it's just cool seeing that come closer and closer to release, which I will be as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice. th- but there were other yeah. details about, like, uh, there's been some more footage come out too. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I, it seems like it's long and massive, <laughs> <laughs> which again was that was a problem for the ratings board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and there's so many. Uh, from what we understand, this game to be covering, there's so many. Which is inc- it's not covering particularly much, if uh, what I've heard is true. <laughs> I can't help. Adam, <laughs> <now>. please. <laughs> anyway, this game is coming soon. <laughs> Uh, anyway, oh. sorry, sorry. What were you saying? Bounce back. Uh, the cup, get, the, get some recoil. The cups <laughs> um, overfloweth. Yeah, uh, it, with, with content. Mm. Um, it uh, might be the breast game of the year, mate. What, <laughs> <laughs> mate? This is a children's show. It's coming out all across the world. It's coming out here in like uh, uh, Brazil, in Nepal. <laughs> yeah, we've seen him. We've seen a shot of Cloud getting around on a little scooter. Mm. Personally, I'm hoping for a bit of a motorboat in the game. <laughs> God. It's a bit of fun. <laughs> oh. Sex it's just, penis. It's just locker room talk. 
<laughs> yeah, the, the the acceptable version is when it's only trying to find puns and having no actual interest in the sexual nature of yeah. it. It's purely wordplay. We're all completely asexual. That's what makes this okay. I, right. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Final Fantasy Seven Inches. It's coming out next year. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it looks it's a uh, it's a really good part of the game. There are a lot of big set pieces. There are a lot of interesting locations that. Previously, we've just seen as like matte paintings, essentially. So the last yeah. one looked and expanded fantastic. Expanded upon it seems like yes. Yes. to to incorporate like the way they're doing that transition from segments of a world and then a, a nothing in between. Yeah, yeah is yeah. by just expanding on it and filling in those empty stretches mm. with stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last one looked fantastic. There were there was so much detail in the environments, even in places that you would only be in for like a very brief period of time mm. in the game. It really felt like it was pushing the hardware so this is exciting because this feels like one of those ones that could be a game that feels like the one of the first like truly next or current gen mm. uh, right. games on this console can i tell you'd be able to tell in the video i don't know if not but i think i started blushing during while we were doing <laughs> 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 it may be very uncomfortable yeah. but. well you are like a victorian debutante <laughs> yeah. yeah oh yeah. dude bodacious oh, big jankles i could handle but because uh, what's that town they go to? The sort of holiday town and Hojo's there lying on the beach. Oh, um, Magaluf? I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's good. <laughs> it's, Ibiza, the British, it's the British, yeah. like, it's you know, Spanish, schoolies town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, like an Ibiza type. <sighs> yeah, yeah, Fuck, yeah. What is it called? Coco Beach or something? It's, there's some beach they go to. Um, and I assume that you yeah. know they've. I, I'm, I'm just looking forward to that game. It's yeah, cool to have too. next year be so in sight too that we've yeah. moved on to thinking about that. Because that's. What March? February, Feb? No, I think end of Feb. Yeah, oh, damn. Well, it's really because it's that, and uh, yeah, start of the year, and I think like a couple weeks before that, you have like a dragon, infinite wealth. Oh yeah, which uh, three remake. As yeah, well. yeah. I'm very excited for like a dragon, infinite wealth. Yes. So excited that uh, I've decided to spend some of my week playing a little game that's a bridge <laughs> between infinite wealth. And like a dragon itself. Yeah. And that game is called... <clears throat> <laughs> Let me put the ad break here. <laughs> like a dragon, Gaiden, the colon, the man who erased his name. Yes. Starring Kiryu. But he's not Kiryu. Yeah. He's wearing glasses. He's wearing glasses. Oh, and is, is he fully like Clark Kenting it? For, for the, is that yeah. how he erased his name? A, running, a yeah. running thing of the game is that everyone... He's faked his own death. Uh, everyone knows who he is immediately because <laughs> yeah. the only disguise he has is wearing glasses and it's just people constantly going, you're that guy, and him <laughs> going, no, I'm not. And then he's like, you get into a fight and they're like, well, the only person on earth we've ever seen with that fighting style is you, so it's yes. you. Yeah. No, it's not me. It's not yeah. me at all. It's, it's also like, yeah, the setup. I've only played literally the first maybe hour and a half, um, which is approximately... Eight minutes of gameplay and, and <laughs> mostly cinematics. Yep. But yeah, even like the story is like, um, he's like uh, gone into not witness protection, but like, you know, he's done a deal to like move on from this thing and. and we'll protect these people, yeah. but you have to kind of work for us in secret. Because yeah. he was like running an orphanage or yeah. something by the yes. end of his stretch. And, and it's to protect, yeah, it's to protect that. Uh, but yeah, and he's like, but I, I thought I was getting away from being like a, you know, a Yakuza enforcer. And they were like, yeah, well, actually, no, you're going to keep doing all of that stuff for us. Yeah. So nothing's changed. It's still just and a Yakuza game. Right. Yeah. I just, I love these games. I'm, I'm, I get very frustrated in games where you fire them up and you spend so long just watching cutscenes, but knowing that this is like what this series does mm -hmm. and that the cutscenes are just so enjoyable. They're so like dramatic, like it's so high drama of like people being double crossed and all that kind of stuff that definitely helps to go into knowing like, all right, the first couple of hours, which again is why it's been good to have in hand. I'll just sit in bed and treat it like a book. Like, yeah. it, cause it, it really is just sitting there and, it takes, yeah, ages once again to to get you into what you're actually doing, which I think I'm just up to now. But right. it's cool, you you know, even just the little thing of the like a dragon before this was a few years ago now. So just being back in that same town and walking around and just it's it's basically this exists. It's kind of hard to recommend it if you haven't played any of the other ones because this yeah. purely does exist as a bridge between 
everything in the series that came before the last main one. Yep. So this character who's been a mainstay is in the next one alongside the character that got introduced in the previous one and it's catching you up on where he's at. And even though I don't have any attachment to him from those other mm. games, I'm still just really enjoying this as a little yeah, as a little entree. It's yeah. it's a cool idea. It's like a you know, the other ones are always very long. This one has had, you know, a little bit of criticism from series diehards for being a bit shorter, but I'm happy to just yeah. like knock it out and see a little story Unlike, and yeah. scratch the itch. How can how dare they put out a shorter Yakuza game as one of the three Yakuza <laughs> games they're putting out within yeah, the space exactly. of twelve months. Yeah. Like yeah. And it's, it's cool. It's yeah. it's cause the new the next one is all set in a different location. It's in Hawaii, so it's kinda nice to dip back into this uh, this other city and feel like I'm not burning myself out on it because after this one you know they're moving away from it. Yep. It's um it's it's co- it's a really interesting idea that again I would say I would definitely recommend like a dragon it's a it's an all-timer for me. It's so good. It's such a great RPG. Definitely recommend playing that one. I think it's also such a great jumping off point for the series mm. because it is all it's like a clean sort of reset and eight or like uh infinite wealth will be following on directly from that. it's the yes. same guy so, and it's yes. his first a bit yeah it really is all new characters in like a dragon that yeah at least the main guy is carrying on for infinite wealth so i'd say like start there if you like that use this as a little in between bridge thing but yeah i don't really have any attachment to this guy who is now going to be a pretty big part of Infinite Wealth, I think. So I appreciate the thing of just rather than me feeling like I should go back and play one of the old ones and, right. you know, that be a hundred-hour thing. I like this little, you know, here's how he ends up in Hawaii. It's cool. Is that Does it does it work as a bit of a recap of, like, giving you a general idea of he, who, here's who Kiryu is? A little bit. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. So I've played Zero and Six. Those are the two that I've played, like, you know, or, like completely, I've dipped in on the other ones because they. I think they're all on Game Pass. I think or, so. Is yeah. this one as well? It is. Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. Yes. Um. But uh, yeah, he he's. I think a, a little bit more of a sh- uh, or not a shallow character, but he's much more tropey than uh. It's Ichiban, right? Ichiban. Yeah. Ichiban in in which you've been saying like a dragon, and I need I need the people to know that I know. That the series is actually called Like a Dragon in Japan. Mm. Super Mario Brothers Two was actually uh, <laughs> called Like a Dragon. But it's when like it we've, we've talked about this. It's the Resident Evil Biohazard thing. Absolutely. Like, it's all like the company is called Like a Dragon. The development company. Yeah. So they were always it's, called Like a Dragon in Japan. They were called Yakuza in the West, and then yeah. the last main one that came out was called Yakuza Like a Dragon here. Yes. And then now going forward, they're all just being called. Like a dragon in the West, right. which is because it was so. I assume because it was such a big crossover hit, right? It was I like mean, okay, now yeah. now people, it's finally people yeah. get it. I mean, look, I do, I appreciate the the like keeping it the same thing, the mm-hmm. like being true to the origins of it. But when you've done like seven of them with one title. Annoyingly, I do think just ke- just keep the two because it is yeah. so confusing to there talk was, about. I think there was something about how they actually didn't want it to be named Yakuza because of the Yakuza as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're yeah. At, at some point they were like we're glad to move away from it because yes. we're no longer comfortable with it being And that's well, why they didn't call it that in Japan, right? Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. I've played a little bit of Zero. Mm-hmm. So I haven't gone near the others, but in the ones I've played and as far as I'm aware this is the case for the entire series, you're always an ex Yakuza. <laughs> Yeah. You know I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like I remember knowing about these games before. I think you're actively in it in Zero, aren't you? I don't you, remember. You're uh, in it at the beginning because it's an origin story. I think you're yeah. in it at the beginning and I think then you, you get kicked out. Yeah, you, right. yeah, yeah. The, the, the threat of all happens of them. in most of them at some same point. Same with, the, you know, same with when they set up Ichiban yeah. in Like a Dragon. He starts out in it and then he like, I think he goes to prison and then when yeah. he comes out, he's been abandoned by the family. So... I remember like knowing about the series before I ever played one being like, oh, that sounds cool. You like go around as a Yakuza, but you're actually like, you are one of the dudes, but you're like, you're kind of out and then you're like fighting against them. Yes. So it's even then it's like a weird name because it's like, you're not, yeah, you're not in, you're not in the Yakuza. And I, in, think, in, I think it's one of, one of those thing. hangovers yeah. as well, where it's just like whatever publishing company was in the West who like was like, okay, well this is called Yakuza and Mark Hamill's in it. <laughs> yeah. The right. first one on the PS2. Sure. Like they never chose that name. I think. Right. Yeah. Right. Yep. That makes anyway, sense. Anyway, uh, they're, they're, they're very much 
it's it's still to me a, 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 an intimidating series, even though yeah, Seven I was gonna is a say, reset. A lot of people who have have yeah uh, either just heard about it um, or or have like played one on Game Pass. It seems it seems from the outside more complicated than it is. You know, it yeah. is a series of games, numbered games. They are in chronological order, except for there's a prequel. And then there's a weird crossover name change, but they're just you know, and and they've it's sort of like the God of War games. They were like combat heavy beat 'em ups with like melodramatic stories, mm. and then at some point they were kind of given not like a a makeover, but like there was a soft reboot that introduced them again uh, in a in a more as a more prestigious game. And maybe they have done them for ages, and then at a certain point they went. What if we completely change the gameplay style? Right. I mean, hats off to them for that. And it not be like a side thing. It's like this is the numbered entry. This yeah. is the next one. It's a completely different style of game. And this is the style of game that we make now. Other than when we do <laughs> weird little side stories and yeah. remakes of old ones that are set in feudal Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, again, Nox, it's perfectly clear. <laughs> and that's the thing. I understand where all of them are on that like timeline. Yeah, yeah. But more just like... I, I, you have the thing where if you're going to go yeah. in, you got to go in from the beginning and do all of it before you can. Because you know, there's going to be and now that Kiryu's back, especially. I think there's be a name for that thing. Little <laughs> things in there. Well, a doctor has to tell me it first. But like the the there'll be references to older ones that won't really matter. And I've seen right everyone right. suggests like if you're going to play them. Don't worry about that because you will get burnt out on it and you That's won't. That's it. And they're yeah. all very long. And a lot of them you are, you know, you could watch a recap video because yeah. they're so cutscene heavy. Even Infinite Wealth seems like it'll be, it's still Ichiban again, but he's in Hawaii. He's well out of the Yakuza by this point. And mm. apparently it's him trying to track down his mother. So it seems like even within right, that, right. they're trying to make them slightly more episodic even mm. though they are bringing back these other characters you like they're trying to make the story out. a bit of like yeah. a soft reset again and uh, i think we weirdly like for how how many games there are they have like there's a zero one yep. that gives you the basis for the for a couple of the main characters it's more recent so it's mm. i think easier to just like get into and enjoy mm. i played some of that one that was the the one that i've put the the most that's the only right. other one i've ever played a bit of yeah and i i kind of yeah i i, I was it's funny playing something that is a prequel that has come long after all the other stuff where right. you're like, oh, I'm learning about this guy. And then you realize fans of the series would be having this thing of like, wow, this is so cool going yeah. back to when oh, he's a little kid. that's where the, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it totally yeah, yeah. does work as like a Wait, setup. they're in Japan? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, we, and we, yeah, I, like I, I do prefer the like Dragon Quest inspired gameplay style. Mm. Um, and yeah, I, I'm glad about that direction. A lot of longtime fans not so glad about that. Mm. So but, this one, yeah. This one's fun. Th yeah, this one's great. The combat is really fun. We played a little bit of the demo at PAX where yeah. you uh, you've got your agent abilities, you've mm. got your little spider web thing, you've got your drones. Um, it's yeah, it's all. I just love the presentation of them. Again, like the menu systems has never changed. It's the same like bits of uh, sound effects that are in right. all the menus and in the overworld when you're walking around you hear a little you'll have your little map that's got like a you know there's a little arrow saying your objective's here it's off the edge of the map keep walking and then when it shows up on a when it actually shows up on the map as a point in your mini map there's this like sound effect that's like a kind of like a wire getting really taut all of a sudden yeah. it's like a little, yeah. all that stuff is just which uh, that's I, th I think that also applied to the judgment games which I mm. think that they're right it would have been all the same stuff yeah filtered through yeah actually yeah there's a lot of crossover with, with the Gaiden game and, and the judgment ones because in that you're a detective so you have your gadgets you, you're you're using bits and bobs and yeah, drones is is part of it as well. A lot yep. of observational stuff and like. I mean, yeah, yeah a, a thing I've read that some people are not too hot on is that this is retreading a lot of stuff. It's not doing anything too unique, which they their last few ones really have done. Mm -hmm. But I also think for what this is and for what this is being kind of put out as, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's a little. It's, it's a positioned little to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's it's positioned to bridge the gap. It's not. A numbered sequel. Yeah, it's it's literally like, and it's fun to be doing yeah, the real time combat size. when I know that the next one is going to be a complete departure from that. It's half and half, right? The next one, I think. Well, I believe he. So I don't quite know how this is going to work. It's turn based, but he is Kiryu. Kiryu, when you when you, he's in your party in like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, he will be in real time. Right. 
Well, guess but, what, other team? I'm just not going to take a turn. Yeah. <laughs> then you don't get a turn and yeah. he beats the shit out of you. I don't quite know how that's going to work. Yeah. I wonder if it's maybe like a, you know, like the, I mean, a few RPGs have done this, but the like Mario and Luigi RPG games where it's like you have to hit a button at the right time. Oh, sure, kind sure, of thing. sure. Could be something like that. But yeah. um, But yeah, it's fun. And I'm just in the point where it's sort of, let me let me walk around. I'm going into an arcade and I'm playing Sonic the Fighters. Yeah. He, he's, he's just in there. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Daytona 2 is in this and it's mm. the first time it's been officially released outside of like in the arcade <laughs> right. in the 90s. And pe- I saw people being very excited about that. That is sick that right. because Sega put this out. They're just like, yeah, you go. Yeah. Every, like the names of the like little provinces are like made up even though mm. they like it's Sotenbori instead of Dotenbori yes. in yes. Osaka. And like you know, brand names will be a bit different, Boke. but then you, but then you go into <laughs> but then you go into an arcade and you're just playing literal Daytona. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. And that's yeah. I there's a bit of that in this. Um, I'm more excited for yeah the mini game stuff in Infinite Wealth mm. because the yeah y- Yakuza like a dragon, uh, or like a dragon Yakuza. The mini games in that were fucking insane. The Mario yeah, Kart the stuff, karting. the candy company that you it's like a stock market mini like it was a it's a that whole I, separate yeah, game that i ignored and then found out that you you get a great character for yeah. your party if you can do that and the game that game is fun to play like you, yeah i probably spent 10 hours playing that mini game our uh, my friend gibby is currently playing it and i said man uh, you know hot tip do when you get up to it do the little micromanaging business thing because you get a great party member and he's like Brother, I love a spreadsheet. You didn't have to tell me that I should engage with this. I was good. I was always going to do it. And that, yeah, people who get really into these sink like four hundred hours into them, like yeah. doing all the side stuff. Um, yeah, it's a uh, yeah. And the I don't know if we ever talked about this, but um, they released a trailer like maybe a week or two ago that for Infinite Wealth and showed off that it's going to have this um, basically like an Animal Crossing mode in it, yes. where you've got mm. like a little island just off the coast. <laughs> You can set up and yeah. build a house and get people to move to, which is like, yeah, awesome. That's yeah. exactly what they should be doing in these games. Just yeah. going for the silliness of it. But uh, yeah, it's um, guided a little bit less silly, a little um, bit less silly. But yeah, I would, I, I, I'd, I'd recommend it. Yeah. I like I said, I wouldn't recommend it in isolation. Um, definitely, uh, you know, this is a good opportunity to remind people to get around. Yak is a like a dragon. Yes, it's on Game Pass. Give that a go before the second one comes out because it's a really, really good game. But uh, well, yeah, I don't know if it sounds like my thing, you know, because mm. uh, people people rehashing old ideas, going back to things they've done a bunch of mm. times before. A little bit silly for my tastes. I've been spending my time uh, running around Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three, shooting with people who have Nicki Minaj skins. Okay, wow, nothing like it. Wow, Call of Duty Twenty Modern Warfare Three <laughs> is, it, and I'm that's the actual number. Fuck, and it's yeah, Call of Duty Twenty Modern Warfare Three brackets Modern Warfare Three Two Twenty Twenty Three <laughs> Twenty Twenty Three, which contains <clears throat> maps from Modern Warfare Two from two thousand nine. Right. Okay. I have a headache. <laughs> I thought the I thought getting into the weeds of the naming of the Yakuza yeah. games was <laughs> no, no. a nightmare. This is yeah, this is the second Modern Warfare three that they've put out. That started life as DLC for Modern Warfare two mm-hmm. two. Uh, from 2022 but they pivoted they quickly pivoted and not even they just like right just repackaged put it out as a full price thing uh even though it is so what you're getting with this one is um remastered maps from modern warfare 2 from 2009 mm-hmm. that's the multiplayer mode right you've got mm-hmm. the 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 standard you know death team match. death yep. and all those different types are in there You've got a single player campaign that's the worst one they've made yet. Probably. Right. It's up there. This is this got like a four out of ten on IGN. See, right? here's the thing. <laughs> I, and I'll get into and there's a zombies mode which I'll say I haven't touched yet because zombies okay. has never been my thing. This feels like how Scream Five was just called Scream. <laughs> yeah. But then the next one was Scream Six. To me it's, it's like it's, sorry, you've it, made yeah. your choice here. Yeah, yeah. It's not super confusing to me for whatever reason but um because you've engaged with all of them well yeah and yeah. the new one is out <laughs> because i have a wikipedia like knowledge of uh, pointless yeah. things and so uh, zombies mode is like horde mode it's wave, wave uh, defense sort of thing? Sort of. Not really anymore, though. It's like oh, okay. changed up and, and it's... I can't speak to the one in this one, but it, it right. got more and more construction-focused. And, 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 oh, but I don't know. It's never been my thing. Fortnite style. Like, it's a zombie 
build my fucking Dude, house. you guys need to learn about video games. Construction, <laughs> big deal these days. Yeah, okay. Okay. Teach the kids to build. We're going to need it. Rebuilding will be the key. Yes. I bought tickets to see Kevin McLeod live the other day. Speaking of construction. Oh, well, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, if they do a Q&A in the audience, I'm going to mm. ask what he thinks about Fortnite. <laughs> Now, obviously, <laughs> as a fan of architecture, yeah, I yeah. assume you're sinking hours and hours into Fortnite. Yeah. And now, Mike, and then I just had a really specific question about <laughs> yeah. a skin in Fortnite. <laughs> um, so, I, I won't talk about the zombies mode, and uh, but I don't think that's been super well received by people who like zombies. But uh, <laughs> campaign first. They're getting a raw deal here. Yeah, those oh. zombie fans. There's no <laughs> other options for them either. Mm. <laughs> people don't make zombie media anymore, other than the 16 Walking Deads that they've concurrently got going. Yeah. yeah. Um, Norman Reedus is in every single one. Dude, I can't get enough of the read. <laughs> uh, By the way, The Last of Us TV show won Best Adaptation at the Golden Joystick Awards. <laughs> oh. What an upset. Yeah. Who could have guessed? Well, I mean, I was pulling for... Oh, fuck. Twisted Metal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Stan original. <laughs> um, so, I, I think the poor reception to this campaign is people catching up to how I've felt about the campaigns in the Call of Duty games for quite some time mm. now. Because I was surprised playing through it after how much of a negative reception it got in that week-long window where it was out if you ordered the pre-early mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, you can still get pregnant for pre-access. Um, Thank you. If you... <laughs> uh, I didn't hate it. Any more than like Vanguard or Black Ops Three, right? Or several of the uh, World War Two, the other ones that have mm-hmm. already been bad for ages, right? So right. The big difference between this one and those is that uh, it is a bit shorter. Okay, but they're all quite short mm-hmm. sure. anyway. And bit, nothing wrong with being a bit short. <laughs> well, I've got eight point five hours of the Call of Duty in my pants. We did. Hours of this, it felt like. <laughs> there call has to be. What if it was called Call Booby? <laughs> there um, has to be a moratorium on no, this kind of stuff. It's a soft reboot. It's this episode, I, brackets 2023. <laughs> it, it, it is a bit shorter. It still has just as stupid and fucking poorly written, like actually insanely badly written, childish level of, <laughs> of story as yep. uh, Modern Warfare 2 last year did. Mm-hmm. So it's not worse than that one on that front. Right. But, uh, the, the, the major change is that some of the missions are, um, they call them open combat missions, which just kind of means that they've got a, a, a war zone style map. Okay. Smaller than that, but like a sort of open thing with like right. three objectives in it and you're going through and like collecting armor plates and different types of weapons and looting and stuff like that. Sure. Which was fine. I don't know. It's like it's not actually to me that much worse than the, the more, more poorly designed linear missions right. that they've had in plenty mm-hmm. of the others. Mm-hmm. So I didn't hate that about it, to be honest, but like it does suck. <laughs> but <laughs> it's not like it, I didn't notice it being a it's significantly m- worse yeah. step down right. yep. than a lot of like I didn't like the one from last year either. And that was like buggier than this one. It had some bullshit kind of open style missions already mm-hmm. that sucked. And I, I d- actually surprised, I was surprised by that I thought this one was. About at par yeah, right. with what they've been doing. It's clearly meant to be a continuation on a DLC sort of level of the <laughs> right. story from two because it doesn't end. The, right. the 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 three from the Xbox 360 back in the day were a trilogy set, mm-hmm. and this requires a four to finish a story or a fucking war zone season or however they're going to do it. Right, but a it, ga- it, Gatorade tie-in or something. It is weird that they have. Um, <laughs> progression in this story that is from like war zone cutscenes and whatever like seasonal cutscenes oh, over yeah. the year that like brings back to life a character who seemed dead at the end of the story of the second one who but the explanation is like yeah i faked it i don't know i put Anime glasses style. on and i went I love to, it. yeah <laughs> and so and this this like story content is in is not in this game that you bought it's in it's in the previous game which this installs on the ps5 at least as essentially dlc for right like you are launching uh. 
two games at once in a weird way that like That's so, just yeah. leads to it, it it's really um it's it's not a good experience swapping between mm. all of the games it and seems like it'd be extremely resource intensive as well if you install everything it's like 250 gigabytes on your hard drive ay 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 it's not a small number mama cita um, uh, on pc you can kind of you can choose what you have and don't have installed because like the launcher they want it to be an all encompassing right. just a th- app called Call of Duty. One that button is, that just everything is... And so yeah. that you can buy things in the battle passes and whatever that will carry over to the next one so that you're more incentivized yes. to spend money so right. that you're not yes, okay. at some yeah. point... Oh, I, I don't want to lose my fucking Groot skin. Yeah. Well, look, I will say, <laughs> good good on them for that because that is the thing that really fucks people off. It's like, oh, I've invested in this uh, right. and then now there's a new thing that none of that carries over. So yeah. saying to an audience that like, hey, don't worry, you pay for this... You are gonna have. You own it. You are gonna. It's not like a thing. You know, people buy a film on iTunes and then it's like, no, we lost the license. You just don't right. have it now. It's like, but I spent thirty dollars on it. I agree I with it. that. It's just the way that it's implemented is really clunky. And yeah. Th- yeah, there's like a distinction between like there is something there is something to be said for being like, here's this game. Mm-hmm. It's been released. You can buy it on physical media. You can whatever, however you want to buy it. Checking all my boxes so far. It's come out. And if you want to engage with that experience, it's all there. And it's like buying a book. You get the whole story. To yep. be fair, that is still this. But then You I can think, buy a disc yeah. that has just the Modern Warfare 3 content on it. But there's it's- a level of like, uh, so even if you do that and you launch it, there's a level of, and this is what all of them do, the fear of missing out thing of like, but what if you engage with this? What if you got this? Your friends have got this it's one. Showing it's showing you stuff on the, yes. on the home yeah. screen. And that, that is why it is there. For but sure. you also do get into, this is kind of a separate thing too, but the thing of like buying the disc and you put the disc in and it's like, yeah, we need to download 200 gigs now. It's like, yeah. what but the it's, fuck was on this disc? It's more, yeah, like the philosophy of it, of like you, a, a game exists with a beginning, middle and end like yeah. any other you know, experience. Whereas, yeah, this this ongoing launcher thing of like, you've got to always be engaged because, hey, hey, you might get a little bonus thing for logging in today. Yeah. Like, all of that stuff is very like psychologically well, kind of manipulative. Totally. And and heaps of things have been doing it more and more for the past 10 years. And this is effectively yeah. a live service series now. Yeah. And these yeah. Are, they're moving more to the Destiny model mm-hmm. of large expensive expansion packs that will give you more content each year Mm -hmm. like and i thought it was clunky and shit in that as well because like but this isn't deleting old cut but anyway these feel a a little less dodgy to me because at this point this series just really does seem to exist in its own little ecosystem and they're very clear with what you're getting in this new one like they're not tricking you right right. like just the under delivering is like year to year it doesn't always live up to the same expectations right. mm-hmm. but it's also three different teams working and so they only had right. like just over a year to make this one right that was originally and they said it ages ago this will be the first year where they skip it and it's right. just a dlc for modern warfare 2 which i think they could have charged pretty mm. high-ish prices for anyway right you can't buy these things piecemeal i think is the idea so it could be cheaper but so you've got the campaign thing it sucks in the way that they often do mm-hmm. and uh I, I didn't hate it as much as other. Uh, I, I didn't hate it uh, more than the others in a way that other people seem to have, but I also didn't like the others as much as other people seem to have. Right. I in, see. For yep. those iterations. Yeah. Then. You're the everyman. Uh, that's me. I'm every man at once. <laughs> yeah. So it <laughs> cancels out every yeah. opinion. That's what that means. Median yeah. Adam. I'm all. I'm the er man. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> the multiplayer is the main element that okay. the majority of people are coming to Call okay. of Duty for. I've heard I've heard tell that that some people like Call of Duty multiplayer. <laughs> Let me tell you, this one's pretty fun. Okay. okay, it's because all of the maps in it were good 14 years ago when they came out, right? Mm-hmm. And it's those maps remastered and and they look nicer and they're changed up a little bit and whatever. Mm-hmm. But it it has actually been kind of nice. To play these maps again and go, fuck, I did play a bunch of Call of Duty Modern yeah. Warfare 2 back in 2009. Uh, and they're, they're still good. The, like the changes they've made to like your movement speed and how you move and you've got like a slide thing now. And uh, the time to kill is slightly longer. Mm-hmm. So it just means you've got a little bit more health. Yeah, Isn't it weird? Um, I can go back to stuff that I played maybe five years ago and have like it's gone from my brain. Mm. But I've been playing on my analog pocket the original Wario Land, yes. which I have not gone back to since I played it as a kid when it came out. And for some weird reason, 
so much of it is in there. Yeah. Like so many of the levels I'm going into and being like, yeah, I remember this. I guess it's just like I played it at the exact right formative moment where the brain is right. like, yeah. give me something. Whatever totally. you give me right now, the, it's in there forever. Yeah, the, the, the process from short-term to long-term memory was operating at its highest. I was like, <laughs> I, the sensory memory of firing up a level and being like, I'm in the back of the car, we're driving to Canberra. Right. I'm on the, you know, it's like, it's so baked in there and yet like, yeah, I can watch a movie that I watched a year ago and I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't remember what happens at the yeah. end of this. <laughs> right. Well, I, I, was, I was playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the original, while I was working on my university degree and I can't even tell you now what that even was. <laughs> <laughs> but I can remember... <laughs> Each and every one of these levels pretty vividly. Yeah. Are they? Uh, do you think that these levels um, hold up on because they were better designed at the yes. time? Yeah, yeah. It, it is. Uh, or yes, but, but it is then, that. Then current levels. Things were ones, better in your day. It was the original. But, uh, but and, actually, but actually, they were. <laughs> it was yeah. the proper Infinity Ward who then sprinted right. off to go and make Titanfall and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they th are just a good set of maps that would have made for a, a great DLC for Modern Warfare 2, which is Love absolutely that. what they were. Can good you imagine one maps. day Azuma being like, I tell you what, they just don't make them like Ant-Man and the Wasp anymore. <laughs> yeah, and that's really depressing. I can, <laughs> it's, it's, I can I imagine that. I mean, it that. will happen. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not that movie. <laughs> Probably but, not probably. that one. But if you watched it when you were, if you were like eight now and watched it. People right. yeah, turned it'll around be, those it'll Star Wars there. prequels. Yep. True, and, you know, we're like, but oh, that's we were. That was us. That was, and I maintain that they're not very good. Yeah, so, uh, but that's what I mean. Like so, some things, it's not just nostalgia. They were genuinely. These are well-made maps, and yeah. they're fun to play in to this day. And that's uh, all that you're able to do at the moment with this year's one. So right. there's no original maps in there or anything. Okay. So I mean, taken for what it is, the multiplayer is good this year. Right. Mm -hmm. It is. It is fun. The maps are well designed. I th I like the the style of 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 how they've changed up small ish tweaks really mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. those are all feeling good it's just that like the line but like what this game even is and what like a full price game means anymore right. that line is blurry and that's the conversation that people are having right. yeah and that's in part call of duty's fault but is also you know just a progression of this game to being a lot of people have viewed it this way for a while, like a FIFA year to year, where right. yeah. people's expectations of it, so EAFC now or whatever. It is it is bizarre that yeah, with like an EAFC, it's like, well, all we're getting is like updated um, lineups from teams because of the tr you know uh, transfer season and stuff. Yeah, what? Why am I spending ninety Australian dollars on? Uh, yeah. Maybe it's they built a this... new stadium somewhere yeah. and that'll be in there once every... But guess what? Yeah. Every soccer fucking pitch is the same. Yeah. yeah. And also this... that stadium was built by slave labor, so mm. it shouldn't be in there anyway. Well, I, I was thinking of <laughs> the Etihad... St Wait, it's not even Etihad Stadium anymore, is it? It's Marvel Astrodome? Stadium now. I was thinking of Qatar At least get uh, the... World Cup, which was, <laughs> you yeah. know... At was... least get some slaves to work on the dev team to design that stadium so that it's, you know, authentic. Right. So the digital right. version Or get is them to work authentic. on neither. <laughs> <laughs> Pay them for both. <laughs> no, well, yeah. that's, that's, that's not likely. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it is, it's such a weird thing with games where, like, yeah, the, the pricing structure is always up for debate with something like this or a remake or an yep. online service where you're getting access to old stuff. Like, it is so all over the place where you just don't really see that conversation with anything else. Like it's, right. you know, a movie might be, you know, the cost of movies is always going up or a film yeah. might be re-released in the cinemas and it's like I'm not expecting to pay less to no. go see something that's been re-released at Hoyt's because I'm in the cinema. I'm in the same room. It doesn't matter that it's sure. 20 years old. Ticket price is just an inflationary thing that yeah. goes up with, you know, everything. But it's just a newer medium where they do, they're they fucking with it still because yeah, exactly. I'm sure there was it's a still... point in the past where they're like, wait a minute, you didn't even play the newsreel before the movie. Yeah. What, what sure. the fuck is that? They used to all have newsreels. Fuck this. I and used to be paying yeah. my $2 and part of that cost was going to the little guy in the corner playing the piano live while yeah, I'm watching the movie. True. Where's he? And he's not there anymore and yet the price is gone up yeah but i what? guess there is a crossover i mean and there's also the argument that i think is very fair and is very hard for people to accept that games should be based on the amount of money put into them the time the 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 the, the like pay that should be going to like the developers games should cost more than mm. they do like it's kind of in, mm. it's insane that you're getting a 70 hour experience for you know like if you compare it to a movie it's like that doesn't that doesn't line up at all but, An actor um, makes millions, right? To no, I mean, they work hard, but yeah, they're pretending in their life. But as a result of that, also 
there are other benefits to that, whereas people work on these games in obscurity and then are still struggling to pay rent. And yeah. it's because all pricing is just based on what your expectation is. Yes. Mm. yes. And so games have, have this legacy expectation now that like software is escaping by moving to subscription models, which are mm. more expensive overall yeah. than 100%. things. People were so mad about cable back in the day yep. and like, oh, it's so expensive for all this shit I'm not even going to watch and it's come full circle back around. Yeah. yeah, to yeah. Now you're paying more than you would have been for one of those if you have have subscriptions to four of them or mm-hmm. whatever, which plenty of people do. And I, I guess the game thing is also it is there is a crossover. It, and it's like what you buy is not a physical piece of technology, but it, there's a crossover with like uh, high end electronics, like toys. You know, like you 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 expect to have to pay more for the new uh, tech f- fucking. Sc- you know, even if it's like a kid's scooter or something, you yeah, know, it's like, well, yeah, that will cost more because it's better. Yeah, it's lumped in with like, yeah, toys slash tech instead yeah. of consuming art. Yeah, which it, yes, it and this yeah. is an, an experiential thing. Yeah, yeah this yeah. costs the same as it has for ages for less new stuff, and it's of lower quality. Yeah. Right. In, in in a lot of places. But guess what? That's fucking everything. It was the number one selling game. <laughs> yeah, it, guess it what? Literally Still broke records <laughs> yeah. of internet usage for yep. one specific right, thing. Right, right. And like it, it's so they're not learning any lessons from this because people, uh, myself included, but I wouldn't have bought this if it weren't for this show, to be honest. But sure. Yeah. Like it. it I, however Thank you for your service <laughs> You're welcome I'm the real hero All of these soldiers I'm playing as They're stole, stealing my valour Yeah mm. uh, it, it, Ignoring all of that Which it, Just to focus on it as a You know Independent mm-hmm. the, the thing that you experienced And are judging your experience of I like the multiplayer this year But I think this game shouldn't exist Yeah Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. The duality of man Yeah or of boy, since we're talking about <laughs> Call of Duty, but like it, yeah, it's 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 a really weird one. Mm. I don't, I, I, it feels like they took a risk of just like trying on what they could, yeah, this yeah. with what this they can one, get away with. and they fucking seem to have gotten away with it in some regards. But then, who knows if the knock-on effect of like people thinking, oh, it's sure. bad yeah. now, will. Mm. In- impact the next one or whatever mm. i don't it, yeah, think they can do it again there was like a threshold of like what people will accept i don't know it's it's one of the weirdest things in in video games because it's one of the biggest things so yeah. like it's mm. kind of uncharted waters for what you can get people to accept right because yeah. it's so big um yeah it's not good still but <laughs> it's fun also cool i i played finity oh yeah Got a free month of Apple Arcade. Um, fuck, it's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Affinity's a bit of fun. Affinity's it's really a, good. It's a good-ass game. Yep. Are, are you guys going to mention it at the end of the year? Or... Uh, I, I haven't gone back to it, really. I, I had a bit of time with it. Got to a point where I just wasn't really progressing. Mm. And then um, uh, left. I'm okay. a bit the same. And also, there's already so much stuff on my list for yeah. the end of the year. That, yeah. Maybe, maybe. we should have a mobile games... Category. Oh yeah, there um, were a few good ones this year. But yeah, I, I was uh, I think even more pleasantly surprised at the presentation and like the animation and stuff yeah. of it than because like you guys mentioned how good it was and you got to nail those sound effects. Yeah, if you're making a little puzzler. Yeah, good sound effects, great animation, like that. Uh, hey, I also can't convey <laughs> accurately through words how good it is. But yeah, it's it's definitely it's the perfect mobile game. It's the perfect mobile game. Yeah, mm. or iPad 10 out game. Of 10. As yes. you'll be playing it. Hey, mobile uh, iPads are mobile. That's true. God, the story in fucking Call of Duty sucks. <laughs> I wish we could all have played it so that we could talk about it, but fuck, it's dumb. I don't give a... Uh, oh, so, yeah. Maybe, I, maybe I, we'll watch I, a recap. I'm Mac happy to hear about it, but yeah, you're right. I can't also tee off on it. I mean, okay, here's the problem with it. Sorry, I'm just still thinking about it because like it's... Spoiler it's, section? Uh, not even really, okay. just in general. It's disgusting <laughs> how they <laughs> have increased the amount of blatant... Hoorah propaganda bullshit oh, that, oh, is, okay. that this game is by turning the characters in it into these weird... They're all superheroes now, basically. Right. Where they even hey. swap between, you know, in superhero movies where they'll sometimes call each other Iron Man, but sometimes they're like, hey, Tony. Yeah. yeah. It's like that with their call signs. Oh, okay. Uh, sure, and sure. and it, 
they're, they're all like these th- main character soldiers who are like the seemingly only people involved in this international conflict. Right. And it, it fucking stinks. They have one level where they have a go at their uh, like no Russian sort of thing from back in, in Modern Warfare 2, which was, if you don't know what that means, it was a level that was called no Russian where you are forced to participate in a terrorist attack on an airport. Yes. Right. And they do that sort of thing where there's a, a, a level where you are forced to blow up a plane kind of. Uh, and it's fucking just done so without thought, mm. you know, without any sort of... Uh, yeah. Sensitivity. Uh, or, sensitivity yeah. or like even awareness that the real world exists outside of this game. Sure. True, that, like a 13-year-old designing what they think is cool when they're right. not like... At best. Yeah. Yeah. Right. A 13-year-old who's a fuckhead <laughs> yeah. as well. That's all of them. No <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it, it just truly fucking sucks Damn. in that way where it's like a net negative for the world. Right. And then... Because oh, it's so popular, it's, it's going to be influencing people. People subconsciously or otherwise, with yeah. This, this rot of content. It's it's without thought. Yeah. It's it's one of the most empty things in the world. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> well, speaking of things but being empty, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of things being empty, I really need to piss. Oh, so really? Let's wrap it up. Should we uh, should we another? empty that bladder? Yeah, I'd love okay. to go empty my bladder. All right, I've got more Call of Duty thoughts if you want to hear them. <laughs> I know that's why I'm trying to wrap it they up. They may be unbearable <laughs> even if you didn't need to piss, but uh, yeah, we could talk about it next week. Uh, yeah, but uh, that'll do it for I today. I want to watch a recap video. The way you describe these does make me want to just watch a, a quick. It's sort of fascinating primer on in some a way of them. where yeah. like yeah, it's it's one of the dumbest things you'll ever interact with. Like the story in particular of that and the writing of it, but it I don't know how much. I, it's I, annoying that they've turned into the like the way that the Grand Theft Auto games parody video games within you know there'll right. be like the who's like your son in five and he's yeah, like yeah. just playing the worst yeah. kind. it's like it, it actively has turned into like the parody thing in the movie of like the toxic kid who's like right. into the into the war shooting game the fucking people and the things you hear them say to you <laughs> in the multiplayer of that game. Oh, oh, boy. is so oh, friendly and boy. kind. Well, let's wrap it up there. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Uh, yeah, come see me on tour November the 23rd in Sydney, November the 30th in Melbourne, TommyDaslow.com for tickets. Head to our website, filthycasuals.com. Yes. Get on the Patreon, support the show, get the bonus show that we do every week and yeah. hour plus of more content from us. A lot of ribald talk about uh, penises uh, on this episode. There's going to be a lot of penis chat on today, this mm, week's bonus. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you that much for... Uh, Ten dollars Australian, yeah, <laughs> or US, yeah, a month. We're going to review uh, our penises, <laughs> yeah. Uh, check <laughs> that, that out. Would get people to <laughs> <laughs> we got the stuff going up on YouTube. Just listen we, to what I said about Call of Duty and then apply it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we just played through. Uh, not played through. We played a couple of rounds of Payday Three. Yeah, that's going up for, on the YouTube for, channel for those clamoring for Let's Plays to return. We'll be doing more like not uh, series as necessarily, but more little dips into games and. Um, Boy, if uh, we didn't play a shitty FPS yeah. uh, multiplayer game together oh, in that yeah. video. Yep. Uh, yeah, check that out. Check that out. Uh, guys, thank you very much for listening. We'll see you next time. And as we say here at the end of every episode of Filthy Casuals. Tommy's off to answer the call of duty. Nature. Nate. Yeah. The words overlapped in my head to make it into like a pun, but then when you say something in real life, yeah. you can't say two words at the same time. That was you? a disgusting content. 